Hey guys, Galapagos Jay here. Uh, today I'm going to do a very, well hopefully a very short video uh, about MOSFET because this is actually a request, a video request from one of the community members. He wanted to know what is a MOSFET, what sort of functions does it have and uh, you know, what, what sort of games or whatever does it suit. So uh, let's start off with the definition of a MOSFET. Now the definition, well not the definition, but what does it look like first? If you really talk about the real MOSFET, it's actually a chip. This chip is called a MOSFET, okay? But uh, in reality for Airsoft and Geo Blasters, MOSFETs uh, evolved over a very, very long time. And most of the development was actually on the Airsoft side. Gel Blaster, uh, it's only very recent that we have people developing MOSFETs specifically for Gel Blaster. And one of them is a buddy of mine called T23, uh, T238. And the other guy is the guy who developed the automatic preload chip. Uh, he actually made another MOSFET before, but that was terrible. Uh, yeah, the, the, pre the preload chip is a lot better. But anyways, so, uh, yeah, so in terms of MOSFET, it's come a long way. In the beginning, it was more to sort of provide a much more reliable, sort of like a trigger unit switching function. But then since then, uh, players have been uh, giving feedback and sort of improving on this MOSFET function, basically trying to install this uh, microcomputer into your uh, airsoft and make it a more smarter sort of like a airsoft rifle or whatever and that's pretty much how it has evolved and to today uh, I mean some of the airsoft MOSFETs that I, I personally used are uh, the Gate Titan and also the Gate Aster and these two MOSFETs are super advanced really really great and uh, very very reliable and they have a lot of protective measures and safeties and stuff like that so uh, these are really high quality uh, MOSFETs and you know, a lot of the things that, you know, the Airsoft uh, community uses can actually be adapted to Gel Blaster as well. So for the Astro and the uh, Titan, all I needed to do were to uh, and solder the two terminals in to the board and that's it. I can use it for Gel Blasters. Now in terms of functions, okay, so it really depends on what kind of MOSFET you install. Or, or buy, but generally speaking, they have like battery discharge protection, they have like cycle detection, they have uh, maybe pre cocking or firing modes and stuff like that. So they have a range of different functions depending on obviously the price and also who makes it and stuff like that. But uh, generally speaking, there are a lot of really cool functions that could really improve your gel blaster experience. Now, um, that's not to say that, you know, all of the fun these functions are great for your gel blaster. Uh, functions like uh, active braking or uh, pre-cocking, these functions can actually increase the wear and tear of your gearbox, although not like uh, uh, very fast, but but it can still, you know, comparatively speaking, uh, with your normal kind of usage, it can increase the wear and tear of that, uh, you know, to a shorter time frame. But um, I've been using the MOSFET for a while and I haven't seen any obvious degradation to the gears or whatever. So it's still still fine for now. But I mean, they, these guys, uh, the, the MOSFET developers have to tell you that anyway, because it's sort of like a, a disclaimer, you know. But anyway, so MOSFETs, uh, nowadays have really cool functions. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about one particular is the Aster. Um, the Aster is the cheaper uh, alternative than the Titan. It's relatively affordable. I bought it for 68 uh, US dollars uh, from Airstream, airsoftextreme.com. Sometimes they have like specials and stuff. I can buy it for like 50 something US dollars, so, but it's still relatively cheap. Another option you can consider is the, the MOSFET developed by my buddy, uh, T238. Uh, he uh, developed a number of MOSFETs, so he's actually quite experienced in developing MOSFETs. Although his previous versions weren't like super special and stuff, his uh, second last version, because he just released a new one, it's actually the last one that is uh, really, really uh, outstanding. It's the version 1.4 MOSFET that uh, a lot of people currently, uh, basically the consensus is saying it fits every gearbox, it's very reliable, it can put up with really high voltage, it can uh, put up with really high ampage like the current and also matches with different kind of powerful motors. It's very, very reliable. So as a cheaper alternative to the Aster even is the 
T238 1.4, okay? But let's look at the Aster first. So Aster, it has a uh, like a number of functions concerning different parts of the MOSFET. So first of all, gear detection, it can um, do cycle detection, it can do active braking, it can help with, uh, you know, controlling the amount of uh, shots you shoot like it will stop you at around either 30 shots or 60 shots. It's, it's just like a way to sort of uh, stop you from holding onto a trigger for too long, which actually can uh, be harmful for your gearbox if you do it for a long time. It also has like a battery protection. Like if you discharge it for too much, it's actually bad for your lipo, uh, lithium battery. Now for the trigger, you can actually select like pre-cocking, rate of fire. Uh, you can actually include a sniper delay if you want to simulate. Uh, uh, like the real sniper rifles you can have like a different firing modes for each different position so for myself like I mentioned in my uh, LVOAC um, video I actually have the safety position uh, set up as a binary and then the uh, semi position I set up as like a burst fire mode and then the auto remains as auto so you can do that with Aster as well with the magazine it can actually simulate and sort of like a realistic uh, magazine uh, bullet count sort of thing. So uh, this is more for like um, law enforcement and military units when they want to do, use the MOSFET for training purposes. They would actually simulate like a 30 shots or 45 shots for the magazine and then put like a artificial delay to simulate the magazine changing time. But this is all like you can set up inside Aster. And also uh, it can provide you with a lot of alerts and warnings for either sound or vibration through the motor and uh, obviously it still has like the statistics uh, uh, function just like the Titan uh, just like you saw in the motor uh, video which I actually showed you guys I took like the statistics for the temperature and also the uh, uh, current that went through so yeah and at the end of the day it will also provide you a diagnostics this diagnostics is like um, any warnings that came up during the operation of the uh, of the gel blaster it'll list out all the things like for example Aster did not detect the sector gear Aster did not detect the motor uh, or when the battery is being disconnected Aster detected a pull trigger so all of these are really great troubleshooting uh, tools for you to sort of analyze what's wrong with your gel blaster so um, Aster in particular is really really good and very affordable now the T238 doesn't have this kind of software but it's uh, quite reliable so it really doesn't uh, require this sort of thing. It's simpler. It's a lot simpler than this, but uh, for my fire teammates, uh, I got a couple of them installing T T238 uh, 1.4 for most of their blasters, and none of them complain about malfunctions or anything. So, yeah, it's uh, it's actually a very good cheaper alternative to Aster as well. So, uh, obviously, you you know the top of the list would be Titan, and then you got Aster, and then you got the T238 1.4. So these are the three MOSFETs that I would recommend and. Would I recommend putting a MOSFET into your gel blaster? I would say yes, definitely, because um, in a way it can really improve your uh, gel blaster experience through like the protections and uh, different fire modes and all that stuff. And uh, especially if you have like a very high rate of fire, if you, uh, for example, if you set up your, your gearbox for a 12 to 1 ratio, uh, gear set, then you would have a problem if you were just relying on the original gearbox trigger unit. You would have a problem with the semi uh, uh, firing mode. You wouldn't be able to do single shots anymore reliably. But if you have a uh, MOSFET, it will be able to do that for you. It will do the cycle detection, it will help you with the precocking and stuff like that. So uh, that is actually uh, very, very good for you to maintain uh, a level of control to your gel blaster. So anyway, that was, uh, oh man, it was still 10 minutes. But anyway, so uh, that was a brief look at MOSFETs. Uh, it's more more like what to get and stuff like that. And um, yeah, you guys are, you know, I recommend you guys to check out other MOSFETs. Uh, some commenter uh, said they were buying this Leviathan MOSFET. I, I've never heard of it, but it sounded like it was really expensive. So it's got to be pretty good quality one I have to say but I haven't tested it yet I haven't seen it yet so I don't know I'm still waiting to hear back from that guy and uh, yeah so um, yeah 
mouse fetch definitely recommend to to install into your drill blaster and uh, yeah it'll make it a lot more fun for you but anyway so that was it for this video uh, if you guys have any more video requests please send it my way I already have a bunch of video requests already so I'm gonna do those videos one by one because I have a bunch of contests I want to do it for myself as well so anyway so uh, that's it for today and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video peace guys